After I, as a developer or admin, have referenced this user story to see what changes need to be made, I would create the customizations in my sandbox, or I could use an IDE of my choice and then push those changes to my sandbox. But before we can package up the metadata, I need to indicate the sandbox that Capado will pull the changes from. In order to do that, I'll simply input the name of the org in this org credential field. So if I did this in Dev1, I'll select the Dev1 sandbox and then click Save. After that's been saved, I'll click the Commit Changes button at the top of the screen, which will bring up a metadata grid displaying all of the metadata from the Dev1 environment that I specified. I can then use these filters and text boxes to quickly and easily locate my changes. So for example, if I wanted to query by the name of the metadata, I can type in account here. I could search by who modified the piece of metadata last, when it was modified. I can even sort by any of these fields. For example, if I wanted everything that was modified most recently to float to the top of my screen. I can also filter by multiple metadata types at the same time. So let's say I'm just looking for Apex classes and triggers. I'll select those two. And now I have a much more narrowed down list of metadata to choose from. And so let's say I select a couple Apex classes here. Now this metadata can be committed or linked to the user story. Now from the same screen, I also have the ability to commit destructive changes if there were any metadata components that I wanted to delete as this user story is deployed to the other environments. I would simply switch the git operation from commit files to destructive changes and then select the metadata in the same way that I just demonstrated below. But I won't do any destructive changes this time around. And now after all of my changes have been selected, I'll click on the commit changes button in the top right which will perform a number of actions. First, a few Git operations will take place behind the scenes, such as the creation of a feature branch for this user story and a commit of that selected metadata into the feature branch. Also, several records will be created in Salesforce and related back to the user story for visibility and tracking purposes. So coming back to the user story record, I have a field up top here that I can leverage if I wanted to view the associated Git feature branch that was created by my commit. Also, if I click on the commits sub tab, any and all commits that have taken place against a user story will be logged here, including who did it, when, and what was included in each commit. Additionally, I have a list of all the individual metadata that's been committed below. And now this user story and its contents are ready to be tested, approved, and eventually deployed to other upstream environments. <laughs>